So this is just an experience of uh, a Teet and Soken health centre. Um, so here is the entrance, obviously. Um, it's the only picture I could get um, from Google uh, Images. So this is obviously um, a problem because the door is heavy, made of glass. And although there's an intercom, that's quite high uh, if you're in a wheelchair. And once you get through the main door, there's like a um, hallway and then another door to the inside. Um, it is not automatic. It opens outwards and it's not wheelchair friendly. Or if you have crutches, a walker, a push chair, it's also really hard to navigate. The same applies at Cedar House, but this is focusing on Eaton Soken. So I wanted to highlight here the disabled toilet. Um, I was absolutely shocked and appalled. Um, yes, it, there is one, but look at this. I mean, so the lock doesn't work on the outside of the door. Uh, there is a handle, um, which means you can grab it, but unfortunately it opens inwards, which is completely, well, there's not a lot of room. Also, it's sprung loaded, so the door is very heavy. And if you lose your grip, then it just shuts very harshly. And then you can also see that there isn't a huge amount of space. Um, there is enough to get my wheelchair, which is quite large. That's not the issue. The issue here is the way it's laid out and the facility. So um, there is no red emergency pull cord at all. And you can just about see the other side of the toilet roll dispenser. There is a box on the wall with the button on it saying press here for assistance. Now that if you are on the toilet that, you know, OK, but if you're on the floor, you have zero chance of reaching it. Um, it's very high up. And I just can't believe that there is no emergency pull cord. The main problem with this disabled toilet is that they have a cubicle within the toilet which means that the walls and the door of this just get in the way. Um, it doesn't make any sense. It's not like there's any other facilities in there except for the sink. And really, they just need to fix it by taking down this extra wall and door, putting in an emergency pull cord and changing the door. And that would be a huge help, but they have never responded to my requests to even look into it. So that says a lot.